Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Dolphin emulator so you can play Wii and GameCube games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on a MacBook Pro 14 inch, the base model M1 Pro chip. What we're going to do is to install this emulator and test some games too. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the dolphin-mu.org website and then we can get to the Dolphin emulator webpage. So I'm going to leave a link to this website in the description. And once we get to this website, we're going to click the download button here. And now we're going to download the correct version of the software. So what we we really want to make sure we get is the ARM version of the software. You might be tempted to download the stable version, however this isn't going to have the benefits of running this game as a native ARM emulator, which is going to have substantial performance benefits. So what we're going to do here is to download the development version of the software. All of these are universal builds, so this includes the ARM build as well as the Intel build in a single package. So what I'm going to do here is to download the very latest development version. Some of these might be a little bit buggy, but I do believe that the latest versions will have the best compatibility and performance. So here we're going to download the 5.0. 015470 and click on this link now. Here we're going to click allow. And now that we've downloaded it, I'm going to double click on Dolphin Master here. We're going to copy the Dolphin and Dolphin Updater into the Applications folder here. So this will mean that we've installed it, so we can access it later if we need to. So within the Applications folder, I'm going to double click on Dolphin here and we're going to press OK. So once Dolphin opens, it's going to ask us whether we want to report information to Dolphin's developers. I'm going to click yes here. This just helps with bug reporting. Also in the background here, we have keystroke receiving. This is just the permissions thing. So I'm going to open up system preferences here. We're going to click the padlock here, type in our password, and then we can click the tick box next to the Dolphin icon here. And we can close this section here. What I'm going to do is to close Dolphin. Then I'm going to open Dolphin again, and now we can make use of this emulator. So the very first thing that we need to do is to populate this emulator with some games. So games for GameCube and Wii are fairly easy to find. All you need to do is go to Google and type in the game name, plus the word ISO, and then you'll be able to find plenty of websites where you can download these ISOs from. We can easily make copies of your own Wii games too. But what I'm going to do is to set my GameCube or Wii folder. So it's in my emulation folder here. What I'm going to do is double click on the space. And we're going to go to desktop, press OK here emulation, Wii GameCube. I'll press open here. So once I've set the folder, then all of our games will be detected in this section here. So the next thing to do is to set up a controller. So I'm going to click this controller section here, and then we need to configure a controller. So on my MacBook, I've got an Xbox wireless controller paired via Bluetooth. What I'm going to do is to configure my controller. So basically, I've got my Xbox One wireless controller here. What I'm going to do is to click on this button configuration and then press the right button for it. So I'm going to map it to A here. I'm going to map my B button to this one. I want to map my X and Y. Then we're just going to map the controllers. This is really down to personal preference because the GameCube controller doesn't really map directly to every single button here. It really depends on how you want to do this. You can even use the keyboard to play this. So I normally map it like this so that the C stick is on the right and the control sticks on the left. And then we have these analog sticks, left and right button. So I'm going to name the profile here and then press save and that's going to save this profile here. Then we're going to press close. Ideally, I'd actually like to play some GameCube games. Those are the simplest ones to run on the controller. I actually prefer pairing a Wii controller for the Wii games. I'm going to show you how this works with a GameCube controller. So right before I load up a game, I'm going to set up the graphics too. So here we've got the Vulkan backend here. We've got the adapter, which is the Apple M1 Pro. What I'm going to do is to show the FPS in the corner. And then what we are also going to do is to set the resolution. I'm actually going to set mine for 1080p here. So that's three times the native resolution. And basically, I'll leave everything else to default. So what we're going to do now is to load up a game. I'm going to load up Mario Kart Double Dash. So we can full screen it by double click on the title bar. We can also hide the menu bar here by pressing the green button here. So even though we are running at three times the resolution, it's actually running at 60 frames per second, which is not too bad. So Mario Kart Double Dash definitely works. It's definitely able to play this game fully and it was really taking advantage of the M1 Pro. Here, if I do a search for Dolphin and Activity Monitor, it's showing here as an Apple application. This is a native ARM set of emulation. So now we're going to try a game Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Leader, which is quite notorious for being difficult to emulate. So here we're going to full screen this again. So this game is currently running around 30 to 60 FPS, running at native res. So this is definitely one of the more challenging games to emulate on this system and we're not quite reaching the full frame rate. However, it's definitely sort of playable. The frame rate drops quite a lot in some areas, but this game is notorious for being very difficult to emulate. Here we're gonna try one more game, which is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We're gonna crank this back up to 1080p type resolution. So this game was always capped at 30 FPS, so that's what we expect from this emulator. 
So this game is running very smoothly at 30 frames per second at three times the internal resolution. As you can see, it's very responsive and feels very smooth at the moment. I can't see any issues with this emulation. If you did have any frame drops, you could always drop the resolution a little bit if you wanted to. However, it seems fine to me at the moment. So anyway, this is how you install Dolphin and run Wii and GameCube games on the system. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.